Hello and uh, welcome to another War Thunder video. Uh, no, there we go. So, this is an aircraft that I have been flying quite a lot recently. This is the KI-100 II. This is the premium version of the KI-100. And, um... Well, the stats of this thing when, uh, are a little bit worse than the spaded version of the non-premium. Um, in terms of the turn time, I think it's 21 second turn time as opposed to 18.7, and then the climb rate is a little worse on this thing. Um, however, the non-premium KI-100 is 6 miles an hour faster. Um, but I'll go into the details of all that in a later video when I actually come to reviewing those aircraft, uh, that aircraft and this one. So anyway, uh, in this match I am squatted up with S'mores, Trix, uh, and Kiwi. There they are. And here's our first victim, a P-40. Now, the armament for this aircraft is actually very interesting. It is two 50 caliber machine guns and two 20 millimeter cannon. The 50 calibers are actually in the wings, mounted in the wings, and the 20 millimeters are firing synchronized through the propellers, mounted on top of the engine cowling. So this is, and this is a 3.7 aircraft, by the way. Uh, so yeah, this is the first Japanese aircraft uh, that you get in the, uh, or le at least the KI-100s are the first Japanese aircraft to have nose-mounted 20mm cannon. And that P-40, all three of those P-40s bombs missed. So Pete, uh, Trix is over there calling for help, his PV-2 has a P-63 on his ass. Now, since the, yeah, yeah, set the P-63 on fire as he goes past. Now, since the recent 50 cal buff, I'm not entirely sure whether or not these Japanese 50 cals are at all useful, but uh, as far as I know, they're still useless. So I would just rely on the 20 millimeters uh, to do your killing. Uh, for those of you who have any KI-100 or any... 20 millimeter equipped Japanese aircraft uh, of any sort. So, P-39, shot him down, that's my second kill of the match, or third kill of the match, excuse me. P-400, I've already shot this guy down once, I believe. There we go, dead again. Four kills. Now, the reason why I'm going to, the reason why I'm showing this match uh, and not doing a review on this aircraft is because the uh, well I was actually kind of going after the uh, what is it the mark of distinction for this aircraft uh, for the ki 102 and this match actually got me the mark of distinction so I have now I have the mark of distinction on, uh, I think, all tier 2 Japanese aircraft. But anyway, that's not what I'm really recording this match for. What I'm recording this match for is to show a very, very intense dogfight that I'm about to uh, get thrusted into. And it's going to be a pretty long dogfight. So, so far we have four kills, which is not bad, but you know, we could do better. Corsair, and I'm running kind of low on ammunition right now, so my 50 cals have just run dry, and my 20 millimeters are just about dry, so I break, and I let the Corsair burn down and go for a reload. Trick's diving on an LA-7. 
the BV-238 there, I'm just about reloaded. LI-7 thinks about going after Trix, but doesn't. Goes head on with me, I try to get the try to get a few hits in, but I misjudge the shot, and I don't get it. Trix passes through, tries to put a few shots into the LA-7, but misses Hurricane Mark IV. Mark IV goes after Trix, I loop around onto the Mark IV's tail. Kill the Mark IV, just as Trix nails the LA-7. P-39 and a P-40. P-39 tries to bug out of the area for a boom and zoom, uh, for another attack run. P-40 stays on tricks. I'm running low on ammunition, but I shoot down the P-40 anyway. P-39's coming back in after tricks. Just can't quite kill him. I hit his engine, I hit his wings, but I just can't quite kill him, and I'm out of ammunition. Or at least I'm about to run out of ammunition. And click, click goes the guns. So the P39 pulls back up to try to get a shot at Trix, but he fails. 50 caliber is strike fuel and light it on fire. Dornier 217 in a stall climb with just the, tw uh, just the 50 calibers. 20 millimeters right at the end, but I knock the uh, Dornier's fuel tank and set him on fire as he stalls out. There's a P-38 over there, I-16 rams the uh, friendly, whatever the fuck that was. And then the P-38 gets rammed by something else. Dornier-217 has put his fire out, so I just dispatch him pretty quickly. Then a Hurricane Mark IIb, a Lag-366, and a Corsair, and a P-36 Hawk come in. I kill the Hurricane, and watch this flying. Lag 3 smacks his aircraft into the ground. Corsair misjudges the turn. Judge loses a little bit too much speed. I shoot him down. Then immediately the Hawk comes underneath me. I point the nose straight down. Dispatch the Hawk. 12 kills. Something just flies past me. It's an I-16. Try to get another shot in on the Ishak. He misses with all of his shots. S'mores and Trix are back here, but, well, Trix is in the fighter, S'mores is in a bomber. So I don't really expect him to help all that much. And then Trix nails the Ishak. LA-7, and I decide to get the hell out of here. And that was pretty much the end of the match. Um, I'm basically flying away right now to try and get a breather here. Because I, I am... My hands were shaking after I got out of that engagement. Honest to God, I do not know how the hell I managed to get out of that alive. Anyway, BF-110 is going to be my final kill of the match. She tries to avoid. Machine Gunner is giving me some grief, but it's not going to save him. Set the inner right, uh, set the inner right wing on fire. He tries to turn around to get a shot at me, but his wing falls off as he and as he exits the turn. Open up with the 50 cals and put some more holes into his other wing as he falls into the ground. And that is how you get 13 kills and one assist in an in a uh, knockdown drag out dogfight in a KI 102. And for anybody who is looking to get one of these things, or is wondering uh, if the KI-100s are worth it, I'm pretty sure that this has made your mind up. 
so uh, yeah I will definitely get to doing a review of these aircraft <coughs> excuse me um, in the future hopefully in the near future I just need to cobble together enough uh, in both this thing and the other KI-100 I'm probably going to do a review of these aircraft, however, after the Italian planes launch, or somewhere around there, but probably afterwards, um, just because that way I can get some fresh, uh, some fresh replays without having to worry about any of them going, uh, going blank. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me just <laughs> kick the crap out of everything down at this uh, everything down at 3.7 in uh, one of my new favorite aircraft in the entire game so anyway um, and I'm not entirely sure if I mentioned this but yes uh, both KI-100s by the way are 3.7 the non-premium and the premium version so anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fly this a bit more, and I will see you guys later.